Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a five digit number and a four digit number. Now let's begin with our first example. What is 45,328 minus 2,541? Now the first step is we're going to rewrite this question in the vertical format. So let's do this over here. We've got 45,328 minus 2,541. Let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. As always, we start on the right-hand side first, the units. 8 minus 1 is 7. Now, how about the tens? We've got 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4. Now, because 2 is smaller than 4, we cannot do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the hundreds column. So let's cross out the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And the one we have taken away, we add to the tens column. So the tens column has now become 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. Okay, we're now on to the hundreds column. And the hundreds column, we've got 2 minus 5. Now again, we cannot do this because 2 is smaller than 5. Therefore, we're going to have to take one from the thousands column, the 5. So let's cross out the 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. And the 1 we have taken away, we're going to add to the hundreds column. So the hundreds column has now become 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7. OK, we're now on to the thousands column. The thousands is 4 minus 2. Well, 4 minus 2 is 2. And lastly, we've got the ten thousands, four minus zero. So that remains four. Therefore, the answer to the question is 42,787. We get a nice big tick. Okay, let's move on to our second example. This time we've got 68,421 minus 7,654. Now again, the first step is to rewrite the question in nice, neat columns. We've got 68,421 minus 7,654. Okay, first let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and TTH for ten thousands. As always, we start with the units column. We've got 1 minus 4. Now, 1 minus 4 we cannot do because 1 is smaller than 4. So let's take 1 from the tens column. Let's cross out the 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And the 1 we have taken away, we're going to add to the units column. So the units column has now become 11 minus 4. 11 minus 4 is 7. Now we're on to the tens column. We've got 1 minus 5. 1 minus 5. Now this is something we cannot do because 1 is smaller than 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1 from the hundreds column. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, and the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add to the tens column. So the tens column has now become 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5 is 6. We're now on to the hundreds column. We've got 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6. Now again, this is something we cannot do because 3 is smaller than 6. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take one from the thousands column. So let's cross out the eight. Eight minus one is seven, and the one we have taken away we're going to add to the hundreds column. So the hundreds column has now become thirteen minus six. Thirteen minus six is seven. Okay, now we're on to the thousands column. We've got seven minus seven. Seven minus seven is zero. And lastly, we've got the ten thousands. We've got six minus zero. Six minus zero is six. And that is our answer. It is sixty thousand seven hundred and sixty seven. And for that, we get a nice big tick. So that is how we subtract a five-digit number and a four-digit number.